Hello there everybody, it's Caroline here from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials and in this video short I'm going to show you how to create a simple speech bubble using Inkscape, the free vector software program. What we're going to end up with is the speech bubble you see on the desktop and you will need to download Inkscape to be able to do this. You can get it from inkscape.org and let's get rid of that for the moment. When you open up your new uh, Inkscape in a new document, this is what you will see. So we will create a rectangle to begin with and to do that go over to the create rectangle and square, click on that once and then holding the mouse down drag to create your rectangle. Okay now then let's just change this. Inkscape is very clever because it remembers the last, in last instruction that you gave it but I want to just show you how to do this. So if you want to change the colour, for example, you need to select the image to begin with. And to do that, you go over to the Select and Transform Objects. You know when something's selected because you've got these handles on the shape. And then to change the colour, simply go down to the colour palette at the bottom here and scroll through until you've got the colour that you want. Let's use that one. I'm now going to show you how to round the corners off because I think that looks rather nice and go to the Edit Paths by Node tool, which is the second one down, and grab hold of this circle. And just gently move that until, drag that until you get the sort of shape you want. Okay. Then back to the Select and Transform tool, and then up to the Paths function and select the object to Path. Then back to the Edit Paths by Node, and then what you've got here are the various nodes that make up the vector shape. Can I suggest we're going to double click on that top line there, say one there, and say another one there. So you've just created two new nodes. And then just grab hold of the central line and here we just grab hold of that circle at the end to make it more pointed. And there you have the speech bubble. You can, if you want to, reduce the uh, the depth of this by going back to selecting the shape uh, to the Select and Transform Tool button there. Then grab hold of the handle, or one of the handles, and then drag it up to make it narrower. And that's really all there is to it, except I will show you how to save it because that's important and it is slightly different in InScape. Select the shape you want, and to do that, hold the mouse down and draw a rubber band around the shape like that. Go up to File, down to Export Bitmap. Don't worry too much about these for the moment, but you will need to browse to give it a place in which you want to download it to. I'm going to use Download function, sorry, the, the, the download area. Name it Speech Bubble. You will see that it defaults to the PNG format, which is what you want. You cannot save an image in InScape to JPEG. So click Save, and then this last step is crucial. You must click on the Export button. And that is now downloaded. So if you'd like to know more about how to use InScape, because it's a very powerful program and you can do a great many things with it, then why not sign up for our few tutorials? You can find them at this link that we're now showing on the desktop here. But until next time, that's goodbye from me.